What's up everyone, Ben Wigman here, field agronomist for Bex Hybrids in Southern Illinois. Today I'm coming to you with a fungicide update or late season update here, what we need to be mindful of in the next couple weeks with this corn and this soybean crop. First, I wanna talk about focusing on soybeans here. I'm in a field of 3441s here at our Effingham facility, and we're staging these for fungicide application, okay? So the first thing that I'm gonna do when I walk into a soybean field to try to decide if we're gonna apply fungicide or late season fertility is I wanna determine when or if I am at that R3 growth stage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go dig a plant just like this one, okay? I'm gonna turn it upside down and I'm gonna look at the base of that plant where I either have a branch like this one or a pod coming off it and I'm gonna start counting nodes, okay? And I'm gonna start counting to the top of that plant. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, fully developed nodes right here, working on this 15th, this 14th one right here, okay? So we're sitting at about that 13 or 14 nodes, okay? Once I decide I'm at that 13 nodes, and keep in mind, we wanna be roughly around that 13 or 14 nodes because typically 60 to 70% of our soybean yield comes from nodes six through 13, okay? So we wanna apply fungicide. We wanna apply that late season fertility because we want to feed or protect what's gonna do the most, uh, the biggest job for us, okay? So I'm gonna look at those top four after I determine I got 13 or 14 nodes and I'm gonna look at those in there, okay? And this particular soybean plant right here would technically be at R4 because we have about a three quarter inch pod. Okay, so we're on the late side with this particular soybean plant here. What we want to strive for is about a 3 16 or quarter inch pod, okay, on these soybean plants. And it's at that time that we want to pull the trigger on applying that fungicide or late season fertility, okay? So what are products that I recommend applying at that R3 growth stage? Okay, if you decide you wanna spray fungicide, Mirvis Top Fungicide is gonna be my go-to recommendation. It's the industry leading, in my opinion, in frog eye leaf spots, stuff like that. But other more important things that I would say are an insecticide. PFR proven insecticide has been very beneficial whether we're controlling stink bugs, Japanese beetles, whatever it may be. But then most importantly, what we've seen really good responses with is throwing in 10% boron. What I recommend is throwing one quart of a 10% boron product in at this time to help retain some of those pods and flowers, okay? We've also seen exceptional results from potassium products products like potassium acetate. There's a lot of different liquid potassium foliar products out there that most of the time are very reasonable, okay? So boron, potassium, insecticide, you know, those are my three go-to options. And if you decide you wanna apply a fungicide, let's throw some Mirvis Top in there when we have about 13 or 14 nodes and have about a 3 16 pod at one of those top four nodes, okay? We switch gears and start thinking about a grass crop like corn, okay? A lot of this corn in Southern Illinois is going to be late planted. There is some early planted corn that's already had fungicide applied to it, okay? Most of the time when it comes to corn fungicide, I'm gonna wait till brown silk to buy me some more residual time. But on this later, crop, this later planted corn, I'm going to do it right when we're tasseling, okay? And there's a couple reasons for that. Our response to corn fungicide on late planted corn is far greater. The reason for that is that corn crop grows much quicker. The outside layer of that leaf called the cuticle is not nearly as thick, so we don't have as much natural defense. The other component is, is things like tar spot and southern rust, they'll come in much quicker into that plant's life. So when it comes to this late planted corn crop, let's get on that fungicide when we're in full tassel, get it protected so we can get out in front of those diseases. This earlier crop, I'm okay with waiting until we get closer to brown silk, things like that, to buy us some residual, okay? If you guys have any comments, questions, suggestions on anything that I talked about here today, feel free to reach out to myself or your local Bex representative. Thanks and have a great day.